Tight budgets, deficits, and activities cuts are hitting school systems statewide. But that's not stopping a unique intergenerational program in one local school district. News Channel 5's Ted Cortan has a special history lesson. School field trips are always fun. It's a really exciting. But this is something a little different. We get to see a lot of new friends here. These second graders from Strongsville's Drake Elementary aren't going to a museum or the zoo's rainforest. Instead, they're visiting the old folks' home. Everybody found the wonderful resident that you're working with? So this is still the World War II generation. They're learning how these seniors built our country. And it's really a life lesson that you can't just learn in the history books. The students and residents here at the Crystal Waters Retirement community are part of a pilot program called the story of our lives. It's a side-by-side -side biography that actually compares what the resident's childhood was like with the current child's experience. That's cool. The kids are paired up like Delaney Merkel here talking about music with retired piano teacher Dixie Holden. Yeah, I really love my music class. The kids interview their senior on topics ranging from family history and nationality to pets and leisure activities. But he didn't have any video games or any TV. The learning and teaching goes both ways. Here's eight-year-old Blake Miller explaining GPS navigation to his friend Olga Pisarski. It's sort of like a map, but it's electric, and you can type in some units that you want to type in. That I wouldn't want, I don't think. <laughs> All the info is written down in a booklet, a living biography that their teacher says fulfills a number of educational standards. Language art standards from interviewing to research ideas to uh, social studies standards where we're learning about the past. It's the kind of alternative learning they hope will spread. We hope other communities notice it and can actually follow suit because it's a great program. I like to come here every week. It just makes you feel young again. On your side in Strongsville, I'm Ted Cortan, News Channel 5. Pretty good conversation happening there. The retirement home raised the money to cover all costs of the Story of Our Lives program. Today they held their first graduation finale.